Alrighty guys, for today's video, we are going to be playing the brand new Viego in the jungle. He just got some massive updates to his Q. Basically, the double auto after you Q now crits. And I've already tested these changes in a game. And I can tell you the damage is just completely bonkers. Um, it is borderline broken. And while they did have to buff Viego because he was a little bit weak, um, but they didn't want to buff him in pro play, so they figured just buffing his crit build would be the move. I agree with the mentality, but the damage is a bit ridiculous. And uh, I'll let you guys decide, though, by the end of this. So, hope you guys are ready, because this is going to be quite something. Um, I actually have played a lot of Viego in the mid lane, um, ever since I saw that there is a guy in Korean Challenger playing him. The jungle is a bit safer, and it's a little easier for me to explain what's going on. So I like it for that reason. Uh, but yeah, for the runes, we got Conquer, Triumph, Alacrity, Coup de Gras, and then we got Treasure Hunter and Sun Impact. Since we are going for a full crit build, I figured Sun Impact would be really nice here. And uh, all right, looks like. Shaco is doing his thing, but I'm just going to take all this jungle and uh, shouldn't be really possible for him to take this from me. He won't be able to perfectly time. I don't think he's going to have a ward on Grump, so he's not going to steal this away. But our jungle clear is more than fast enough to take everything out. And should be fine. This actually should work. Ugh, I actually, no, completely whiffed that. Uh, all good. There's a big wave, and if I miss my stun, it's not even worth continuing. I'm gonna hope that the crab is still here. Nice. Very cool. Very last tick of it. Okay. Uh, we need to be looking to farm as much as possible. Not really anything to get here. I know he's out of mana, but... Alright, we're going to take all this jungle then. Luckily, it just so happens that it is coming up at the exact same time that we are here. And I need to be looking to hit my W on... The big one. But yeah, I'm looking to... Take out... The big one faster than anything else. Um, and I think it's time to just recall. Although, definitely some real potential in the top lane. I really did TP back. Starting a fight would be huge. Did she just Q? Oh, minion. Oh my goodness. That is uh, amazing. Yeah, Cassante has got as many dashes as Aurelia. But unfortunately, Aurelia has to not mess up that Q. That is all good. We're going to get out of here. Get our first item, which is going to be... Why is a pickaxe? Uh, no, I think we're going to go for the components of uh, the Noon Quiver. The way Viego works is you're not really too strong until 6. You have some gank potential, especially against a Shaco. In like a 2v2, we'd win it. I really... Well, if you missed her Q, maybe not. But in general, you have a lot of potential to win these 2v2s. So it's definitely worth uh, fighting and junk ganking, but at the same time, we're not really doing much until six. Pretty much just power farming, and then once we get our very first item, our mythic, then we're fully online. Oh my god! Okay. Should be a kill. I'm gonna just predict his E. Okay. He did not use it. Please don't EUA. That's crazy. He uh, held it the whole time. Okay. Well, that is highly unfortunate. I uh, tried to predict his flash and then they didn't use it for whatever reason. So I guess that makes me the noob after all. <laughs> all good. Let's go ahead and just take this all out. 
and just get them both at the same exact time and then align them up. Oh my. All good. Okay. Red buff is coming up in just a second. Not much is working in our favor, but at the end of the day, this is a level 6 plus champion. So it's not too bad. And we're just going to pull this closer towards where we are heading to, which I think is just going to be straight to the wolves. I do want to gank for Azir because Azir has got a really good ult to work with. But it seems like Aurelian is just going to be roaming, pushing and roaming. Nice. All right. Clear speed and not bad at all. About to be level six in just one Gromp. Let's just take this out really quick. Gonna smite it and... Uh, yeah, we will. I want to get level six and get this as fast as possible. Just in case I, I catch out the Shaco. Nope. All right. Yeah. Our level six. We're gonna try and make something happen here. I can't rely on top. Uh, I think we should probably play for mid. It doesn't look bot lane's doing anything either. Okay. Yeah, ult is ready, but you do have to fight to use it. Unfortunately. Ugh. Um. Can I right click this? Oh my. Oh, not good. Not good, but it's not bad either. I think we're just going to be happy we got the kill. We did get the sums out of top lane. Yeah, one step at a time, right? Let's go ahead and just grab this red plant. I suppose we can just do this. I wonder if we could just rush... I think we're actually going to rush the Rift Herald. I mean, I just got red buff, which means that he cleared topside. And I don't think that there's going to be a ward in this particular brush. But just in case, I'll check. Drop a ward on that. And I don't want to hit the wall just in case he has a ward anywhere. And I'm going to let it pop out and then I'll go backwards easily. Amazing. Oh man, we have a bit of gold left. I might just force it since Bond's dead. Top, uh, it's uh This is probably a decent situation to just go for the turret plates. Especially since I see Shaco as dragon now. We'll get the gold for it. Okay. Need to be going for this. I'm gonna probably hold it for a second. Alright, they're on it. Damn, he used W as I'm charging it up. I should probably get out of here and just be happy we got a lot. Amazing. Okay. That is more like it. We should be pretty safe to get this now. All right, 69 CS. Not a crazy start, but at the same time, we do have a 10 minute mythic. We're level seven. I don't think this level seven enemy jungler has a mythic. Um, so, so far so good. Let's go ahead and just keep pressing W to get back to lane or jungle faster. And yeah, pretty much gonna be going exclusively for the green smite since uh, tenacity on a hyper carry is a bit strong, I would say. And then, since we do, not only do we um, get two autos, which is really good for Kraken Slayer, but we also they also crit. So as you can see, at a certain point, our passive will do more than our actual uh, Q, which is amazing. So much damage.
Please get him. Oh no. I kind of messed that up. Yeah, I definitely butchered that. Is Tom going to get it? That would be huge if, she, if he did. I should be okay. I think I'm okay, actually. No, I'm dead. Mm. Yep. Ugh. Didn't get my... Okay, huge. I didn't get my W off, and then the champion just flies away. I completely forgot about that. Not to worry, though. We do have our ult still. We have our Kraken. I might... I might go bot lane, even though it's, uh... Pretty... It's looking pretty grim. On that side of the map. It might be a waste of time. I don't see like a pickaxe. Yeah. Don't want to like end up dying again. I think this looks decently gankable. Just hoping they don't recall. Oh man. I can get him. Very cool. Okay. Uh oh. Oh no. Ah. The champion roams a lot. What can I say? Um. Get their team comp. Quite a bit of CC. A fear. Slows. I'd imagine early in Soul will probably get a rallies as well. I think it's probably worth the investment and get a Merc Treads. If nothing else for the MR, as they have a quite a bit of magic damage on their team. Uh, but alright, next up on the build, gonna be going for a Collector. Still looking to get resets off on their team comp. Ignore Cassante now that, you know, he's got items and he's gonna get tanky. Get this. Alright, just keep spamming autos. And probably just start kiting back. Shouldn't take too long to take any jungle now that we have Kraken. But wait, the turret is gone. Ah, oh, seems fair. The burn gets him. Okay. Um, this is a wide open. Oof. Okay. I'm on my way. Do not die. Use. Oh, she's got nothing. Unfortunate. Ugh. Unbelievable. So confused. I guess my pink ward doesn't get revealed. Oh. Mm. All right, very cool. <laughs> Let's just take Dragon. I guess they actually got the first one. If I could get this jump over the wall, that'd be nice. Definitely butchered that ult, but it is completely fine. <laughs> Luckily. Nice, turret is down. I wonder if we could just go for the dragon, to be honest. It should be doable. Yeah, because we are getting the dragon to get tanked by Aurelia. Should be plenty. I don't think he gets out of this. You have slain an enemy. Ugh. That's sad. Very sad. Oop. Need to crit and get a reset. That's not it. 
Ooh. Uh oh. I am going to go ahead and keep running left and not ult. I am still gonna get ulted, aren't I? Okay, never mind. Aurelian Soul just globally killed me. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Alright, six and three. Going a little bit better. Yeah, the um crazy thing is this champion has always been about getting that first reset in a team fight. But with that crit on your Q, it becomes so much easier because your damage just becomes so mad. I might... Ah, uh, man. It's tough. There's a lot to fight, but there's also a lot to farm. I don't want to fall behind with, like, fighting with MF or anything like that. So I think uh, it's best to just... Get the guaranteed jungle. Should be good enough. Okay. Oops. Nice. Yeah, we take this so fast now. And this will be just as fast as well. I'm not going to bother. It should pop from behind. We have so much attack speed now that the eye should be popping relatively quickly. Oh my god. Fantastic. That is what happens when they have a team and we do not. Okay. What is going on, Aurelia? Are you okay? We might be able to get him. Ugh. Okay. Interesting int. Int interesting. We can probably actually go in on this. Never mind. Ugh. Amazing. If anyone could tank that, that'd be really cool. Alright. Not even about tanking it. Just coming in and helping. All good. I think I got caught up by myself there. I guess there's not really much help that could be done. Yeah, and what should we go for next? We just got Collector, which is really nice for executing. And there's quite a bit there's quite a bit of different options we could go for here. Infinity Edge is kind of the obvious one. It's just right in front of us. And I think it's gonna give us the most damage, which is good for getting resets. I've gone Essence Reaver before on this build. I like that a lot. I think it um does a lot of damage even if you aren't you able to really use the mana. But I think we'll go for Infinity Edge, because that is uh Quite the crit item. Which we get a little bit higher level. Get some more items. We're going to have like a one second cooldown on our queue. Alright, maybe a few. Okay. Ooh, that's actually a kill. Nope, not the right one. Ugh. Oh, man. Oh. 
Oh, ho, ho. oh my goodness. Okay. That might have gotten my heart rate to go to like 10,000. So, shout to the enemy team. <clears throat> this heart attack is sponsored by the enemy team. Oof. Nice. Yeah, overall, I mean, our top lane, I guess our top did pretty good at the end of it. We take the red buff. It's not up. Okay, I guess we'll just head back really quick. Uh, reset for Baron. Nice. Well, we are certainly scaling. The collector is able to help us get that reset just a second faster, but that second reduces the damage we take by so much. Probably get a sweeper. Oh, never mind. What? Might as well get um get two pink wards just in case. Because we're doing Baron. They clear it. It could be nice to have another one. Oh no. Help me team. Ay ay ay. I'm in trouble. I'm I appreciate the help though dearly. Might be I love you. <laughs> okay, he saved my life. An enemy has been slain. Um I hope there's not a ward in here or nearby because I I I think we got everything we could. I just unfortunately Got a little bit bursted by the uh, one-shot Shaco build. Oh wait, Azir's alive? Okay. <laughs> I guess he TP'd back in. What should we build for our next item? It is a bit of a situation. I think we're going for Mercurials. I do want to get full crit this game. I think it'd be amazing. Plus, I think Mercurial would be nice for Aurelian Soul CC. Maybe the Swain E. They might jump on us not knowing we have the item at first. And we could get a re big reset, win a fight. Potentially win the game off of that. I think we'll go for that. But yeah, so far so good. It seems like all the times I test this uh, Aurelian Soul like Q rework, it is... Uh, Pretty much us stomping them. And the enemy mid laner is a Aurelian Soul Master Tier 1 trick, though. So. Oh my. Amazing. Probably just push mid. We have the Lulu after all. That's all we need. You can see our Q is coming out very fast. The more items we get. What? I'm pretty sure I queued that, okay. Oh no, shield me. Thank you. I guess dragon's coming up. We can see if they'll fight us for it. I don't think they will though. This looks good. Okay, okay. Um, 1v5 mode? Does she have a ZZ rot? Or a Z... What's her item? Jack show? Oh, fantastic. Glad I was a part of that. <laughs> Let's just get the dragon. Your team has 
I think we're just lucky really in Soul isn't there. Yeah, no sense in uh, doing anything too int here. Alright, let's just take this as fast as possible. Gonna reset for the Mercurials. I think it'll be nice to get some MR. The guy is pretty fed and they do have a lot of magic damage. Even if they're building AD. Ezreal and Shaco, I think they still do a good amount. Alright. I'm glad we have a Lulu. I think even underfed, she can do a lot of work. You can see our Q, our passive procs are critting, doing a lot of damage. We'll keep an eye on that as the game goes on. Alright, let's put the Mercurial in the right spot. Oh my. I am. Hmm. What is going on? Hey, we got it off. Okay. I'm gonna die. I think we're okay. Fantastic. Okay, so our W is the flying one. Okay, that's good to know. Whoa, my W is on a big cooldown. What the heck? Huh. I think this is going to be really good for us in two seconds. Need my ult to work. Okay. That's a bit silly. I don't really know why we're going into the Nexus, but it is all good. What should we get for our last item? We go Phantom Dancer. It's not bad. We get a all our uh, everything we'd want, really. One more fight. Yeah, their team comp is very good at running away. Swain, E, Ezreal, E, Shaco, Ult, and Q. Tante is just a tank. It's, uh... I think it's a comp we'd want hard engage, but not in the form of Aurelia. I think Aurelia is kind of playing crazy. I feel like a Malphite or an Orn, that'd be cool. Alright. Let's end this game once and for all. Gotta make sure I use my Recurial. I forgot the active for a second. I, uh, not used to buying this item. Okay. All right, let's do it. Got to play it slow. Oh my. Jesus. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh my goodness. All right, GG. That is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the Crit Diego update. And I hope you guys have a great yesterday.